Welcome back to the channel. Um, so you're probably aware that I've updated my Elden Ring save file on the Nexus. So the main difference is it now includes all 10 classes. I'm just going to bring up the page here. So as you can see it has all 10 of the starting classes. So to install, I'm just going to go through the guide again and just to show how you can select what class you want. So I'll have the link to my page down in the description. And the first thing is you'll need to download the save copier. So this will take you here and all you need to download is the exe file. Once you've downloaded it, you'll have you'll have this here, which you can run. Don't do anything with this now. Um, you can just leave it there. <clears throat> you also need to download my save file, which is here. I'll always have the game version next to the save. So you need to make sure that your, your game is actually on the correct version or the save won't work. If you're using a cracked version of the game that's on a previous version, then feel free to go to old files. And you'll see there's obviously different versions there. These are only wretch only, so you won't have... I can't update them, unfortunately. Um, so we'll just have the wretch. But the most up-to-date version has got all classes. So again, just download that. Uh, you'll have it here. And then you just want to unpack it and then once you unpack it you'll have the the save here so we're just going to close that down so we've got our save copier the source file is going to be my save which you've downloaded from the nexus so just go to downloads and we've already unpacked it select Destination file. This is going to be your Elden Ring save location. The location will be your your C drive or whatever drive your Steam is installed on. Users, your name, app data, roaming. Elden Ring and then that folder. If you do not have the app data option showing then you need to go to your folder settings and you need to enable hidden folders for that folder to appear. So once we're here we can select our save. Now the difference with my save now is if you go to copy from you'll see that there's 10 options. So these are the 10 starting classes. If you go back to my Nexus page then I have, they do have an order. So the top one is the wretch, second one's the prisoner, third one, uh, third one is hero. So you don't need to copy all of the classes over. So let's just say, for example, we want to do Vagabond. So that is one, two, three. It's the fourth option down. So we just go one, two, three, four. And then there's your own game save. Just while we're here, so if you want to keep your own save then don't overwrite that one you can simply just put uh, my save into slot 2 so we'll just do slot 2 copy we can close that down if we just go back to the save folder we need to just make sure that we delete this file and then we can run the game and hopefully we should still have our own game file which we didn't want to lose and we should also have 
the Vagabond starting class as well. There we go. So we've got my save, which we've not overwritten because we wanted to keep our original save. Um, and then we've got the Vagabond save file. And we'll just do one more example. So we'll just go back in to the save copier. Uh, again, source file is going to be my save file from the Nexus which we've got in our downloads because we've downloaded and we've unpacked it. <clears throat> Destination file, again, that'll be your save your Elden Ring save file location, which is here. So this time, let's say we want the profit. So that's number number 10, it's the last option. So we go here, all the way to the bottom, number 10, and we will put, we'll just put it into slot three. <clears throat> In fact, no, let's say we want to overwrite our own save. So we'll do slot one. Copy. Just go back to the game folder and again remember we need to delete this backup file and we'll just run the game again so slot one should now be the confessor no sorry the prophet There we go, so slot 1's the Prophet and slot 2 is the uh, Vagabond, which we've copied over. Uh, one last important thing just to just to touch on. Let's go back to the save copier. Do one at a time. So if you go to this option and you want to maybe transfer five, five of the classes over. Don't do them in this all at the same time. You want to do one at a time, uh, run the game, come back out the game, just exactly like I've done there. Um, if you do them all at the same time, it just doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to work. So just do it one at a time, take your time. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching.